Hi, today I'm going to make rhododendrons. A beautiful bunch of flowers. Material required are gray paper in orange, orange red and green. A thick wire for the stem. Thin wire for tying. Green floral tape and I have used white color for the stamen. You can change this color according to the color of the scrape paper. Cut stencils according to the measurements given. All the measurements are in centimeters. This is of a petal. This is 2.25 centimeter by 5 centimeter long and cut 5 pieces per flower and you make 8 to 10 flowers per bunch. This is a stencil of a stamen. This is 4.5 centimeters by 1 centimeter. Cut one piece per flower. This is of two leaves, two sizes. One is 11 centimeter by 4.5 centimeter and 1 centimeter stem. This is 3.5 centimeter wide by 9 centimeter and 1 centimeter stem again. Cut five or six big and small leaves per bunch of flowers. Now take this strip for stamen and cut very thin strips on it. And leave about uh, half a centimeter gap here. Now apply glue on the base and roll this up. Now take some white paint and dab it on top of the stamen. Now take a petal, first curl the upper portion and then with the scissors only score it along the center, a deep score and then just give the crimps on the edges, all along the edges. So you get petals like this. Now apply glue on the edge of the petal, just along the edge, very little glue and stick another petal on it slightly at an angle. Like this. And similarly stick all the other petals. After sticking like this, let it dry completely. After the petals have dried, give a little cupping on all the stems of all the petals. So just hold very firmly the stuck ed edges so that they don't come apart and then cup it like this. Apply glue on the side and stick this on the other side to create a funnel shape. Now insert the stamen that we have made earlier and then tie the flower at the base. Just collect the edges together and tie with a thin wire. And give a twist. Shape the flower using a thick wire. Just push out the paper so that it forms a, a clean shape, funnel shape. And then open out the petals. So you get a flower like this. Now cut out a piece of green tape, stretch it, and then wind this around the base of the flower. till the end of the wire. Like 
and this is how it will look now collect all the flowers together make a bunch of them make a bunch like this put a thick wire and then tie this tightly with a thin wire now take a leaf and score on it with scissors make veins on them because the veins on the leaves of rhododendron are pretty well defined so just do this now apply uh, tie the green tape on the flower bunch starting on the base and then put the leaves all around it in a circular form and this is how the finished flower would look